So what have we learned? Well, one of the things that we've seen in working with examples of triple integrals is that the limits of integration can be a bit of a challenge. But one of the other things that we have also learned is that working with planar projections is a great way to break down a triple integral into things that are more manageable. Now, that's good, and that has worked for us so far, but that's because we've been working with particularly simple shapes. There are lots of complicated three-dimensional shapes that cannot be so easily represented by planar projections. You have to, you have to proceed a, a, a bit more carefully. One of the best ways is to break up a complicated shape into simpler regions and then integrate over those one piece at a time using the fact that integrals are additive. We've seen simple examples where you can work with planar projections. If you can't do that, if your shape is too sort of globally bendy and non-convex, then find a good way to break it up into simpler pieces and you'll be in good shape.